In this section, we're going to take a look at some of the primary color grading tools in Scratch, how we can assign a color grade to a shot, and then be able to copy that grade onto other shots or store it as a preset for use later on. I'm starting off with the same construct that we've been working on. I'm just going to take that construct into the player, and now if I right click, I can go to the matrix where all of our color tools exist. We're looking here at all of the primary color grading tools. We have tone controls for adjusting contrast, S-curve, and a little bit of defocus. Color A, which is a hue, saturation, and lightness control. Our lift, gamma, and gain controls. And then color B, which is an additional hue, saturation, lightness control that's applied after the lift, gamma, and gain. We also have our offset and pre-gain controls at the bottom. We can use these for neutralizing an image before any other color work is done to it. Now in this case, we're starting off with the color grade that was set up as part of our initial work on this shot. That color grade was carried over as part of the conform, but now I'm just going to add a new version and reset that color grade. At any point, I can remove the color grade and work from the original image if I want to take it in a different direction. I'm going to open up the histogram view, which shows me how each color is represented in this image. Now, the first thing I want to do is just try and start neutralizing this image a bit. It's a bit heavy on the red. I don't want to remove all of that, but I do want to start taking some of it out, as well as some of the green, and then boost the blue just a bit. This is going to give me more of a neutral image to start with. Now I can use some of my primary grading tools like Lift, Gamma, and Gain to craft out a look for this. In this case, I'm going to just add a little bit of color back in on this version. And at any time, I can add another version and take this in a completely different direction as well. I can open up the dual view again here. We saw this before when we were comparing to a reference during the conform. But in this case, I actually want to compare two of my color grades side by side. So with the dual view open, I can choose which image I'm going to look at on the left and right sides and compare them. I can also wipe between those images on my SDI output. To keep track of which version is which, I can start applying notes to each of these. In this one, I'm going to just say this is my director version. The second version will be our producer version. And we'll actually adjust that so that the note is red just to distinguish it from the others. And the top version we'll call our colorist version. And let's make that one blue. So I've got a good visual representation of what each of my color grades is. Switching back to the single view, if I like this particular color grade, I can copy it as before, move to another shot, and paste that grade on. Or I have the option of using the previous and next arrows to start auditioning grades from previous shots in the timeline or shots further down the timeline. If I find one that I like, I can apply that to this particular shot. I can also build up a variety of looks using these eight preset mems here. I can store a particular look into a mem. I'm just going to store these three real quickly. And then moving through the timeline on any other shot, I can use those mems just by clicking on them. In a similar way, I can use trays. I can create a new tray. Let's call this looks. And now I can save this into the tray as a preset. If I move through a couple of other shots, I can save those as preset looks as well. I'm building up a library of looks now that I can use on any other shot. And now I can apply any of those looks simply by copying and pasting it onto the current shot. So a lot of different ways that we can sign a primary and then copy that look throughout our entire project. 